Welcome back to part five of the build. Today I'm fitting the water pump to the petrol engine, locking everything in place and giving it a full performance test. I start by positioning the pump right beside the engine. This setup only works when both shafts line up perfectly, so I take a moment to rotate the engine by hand, check the angle, and make sure the coupler sits dead center. Once the alignment looks clean, I tighten the bolts one by one. A strong pump fitting is all about stability. If it shakes even a little, the water flow won't stay consistent, so every screw gets locked in tight. Next, I attach the inlet pipe. This pipe pulls water into the pump, so the seal has to be solid. I slide it over the inlet, push it all the way in, and clamp it down so no air can get in. After that, I connect the outlet pipe. This is where the water shoots out with pressure. You can see me adjusting the pipe height, making sure the angle is right so the water flows smoothly into the container. Now the whole system is ready. The pipes are secure, the pump is mounted, and the engine is fueled up. Time to fire it up and see if everything works the way it should. I pull the starter, and the engine comes alive immediately. The pump starts spinning, the pipe gets firm, and within seconds, water begins rushing through. The pressure looks strong, the flow is clean, and the engine is holding steady with zero vibration problems. All the fittings from the previous parts, the cooler line, the mounts, the fuel setup, Everything is working together perfectly now. This is the exact moment where you see the entire build come to life. From raw metal and loose parts to a functional water pumping machine, this test shows the engine has real power behind it. Next episode, we'll push the performance even further and check how the system handles long-run operation.